Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and & Dragons, and we're going to talk about whether you like this Dungeons and & Dragons, or whether you like Dungeons and & Dragons. Alright, so let's jump into this. So the reason why we're going to talk about this today is this is a major question for a lot of people, and this question of do you like this instance of the thing, or do you like the thing, is becoming a prominent question, and right now... Every Dungeon Master in America is watching closely what is happening with the British monarchy. And the reason why is, it tells, so one, if you're a good Dungeon Master, you have to understand intimately how the world works from the perspective of politics, culture, and religion. And I'll tell you right now, if you ain't paying attention, the uh, Queen Elizabeth II's death, that whole event is nothing but politics, culture, and religion, right, at a global scale. Right and, and 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 also, if you're a dungeon master, you, you know you run in a, you, most of your games are in a medieval feudalism uh, world, right? A, a world with medieval feudalism sprinkled with some magic, right? So, like, and you know, reality is medieval feudalism. That's you know, if you're looking at Queen Elizabeth, that's you. You're looking at medieval feudalism that has just survived to today, right? Like that you know that queen is exactly like the queen. That is that is over Zorhas in Exandria, right? Like, there's what's the difference between a, the Queen of Zorhas and uh, Queen Elizabeth II? Uh, one's got a Luxon and the other doesn't. They're pretty much the same, right? Like, so you know, so we have we have a lot to learn from the Queen Elizabeth's death, right? And we're learning it, right? We're paying very close attention, right? So, um, so let, all right, so let's keep this all the way there, right? So one thing that's happening right now, which is absolutely fascinating, and you will find this in on multiple mainstream uh, media news sources that are talking about this um, openly, right? That the British people are now saying, do we want a monarchy? The question has come up, do we even want a monarchy, right? So the, the Queen Elizabeth II's death has, has, has served as a trigger for... Uh, Britain, the entire, for all the United Kingdom to say, do we even want, still want a monarchy? Because I'm an American, and we was like, heck to the no, we end in this, and we did, right? So, so basically, um, the, the United Kingdom, every, every citizen in the United Kingdom is a participant in the monarchy, and the right, and you know how? They choose to be subjugated, right? America, we choose not to be subjugated. Subjugation? No thank you. Right, like you know, like uh, UK, every single citizen subjugation. Thank you. Right, like that's the difference. That's the difference. Between the United Kingdom and America. We ain't subjugated. The United Kingdom is right. They are subjects of the king, uh, of the queen, and now the king. And here's where it gets interesting. Right, with Queen Elizabeth, who everybody loved. Like that, you know, she had 15 corgis. Right, she was super nice, and everybody loved her. That was great. They're like, hey, we love Queen Elizabeth. The second, we love this queen. Now they got a, rep a repugnant monster person up in there, uh, King Charles the Third, right? That dude just like he treated uh, Princess Diana, the best princess ever, like trash, and that is just horribly wrong and inappropriate, right? And so, who wants that horrible monster person as a king? Nobody, right? And so now people are like, hey, do we even want a monarchy? But the question is, what do they not like, right? Do they not like King Charles? Who would want King Charles as a king? Like, come on, man. You take the best princess who's ever been born and are like, mm, I would like to not be your husband after having multiple kids. And I'm going to marry this lady who's already married. Like, uh, yeah. this like, it's like the fairy tale story if you inverted it, right? Like, you know, you're like... Rather than having a fairy tale uh, prince and princess story, I'd like a really repugnant, messy, complicated, horrible love story that would never be put in any mo any novel or any fairy tale. Right? Like, you're like, who chooses this? Why? Like, y like she's already married, dude. Do you understand how marriage works? Like, it's not cool to just be like, hey, I'm a prince. Can I take your wife? Like, that's not cool. That is absolutely not cool. Right? Like, so. King Charles is just, he's just a straight jerk, right? Like, and the whole world knows it, right? Like, but now it's very complicated, right? Because are the, are the United Kingdom people going, hey, we don't really like monarchy, or are they just like, we legit hate King Charles III, which there's every reason to hate King Charles III. He's just 
He's just a horrible monster human. Like, it's like who would do this to King Princess Diana, who was worldwide beloved? Like, she was a candle in the wind, never knowing when the rain came in. Like, she was like, she was the best, right? Like, and like, who would cha- who would be like, well, I married you, and then we had kids, but I'm going to choose. Uh, but hey, this other guy's got this wife, and I'm going to take her. That's going to work out great for everybody. It worked. It was tears and flames, right? Like. And now, like, what do you even do with that lady? Like, I, what is she? I don't even know. Like, is there some title for her? Who knows, right? Like, it's not a good title, right? Like, ugh, ugh, ooh, ah. That's not good, right? So the question is, do you like the monarchy or do you like Queen Elizabeth? Do you really dislike the monarchy or do you just hate King Charles III, right? We have the same question with Dungeons and Dragons. Do you like Gygaxian Dungeons and Dragons? Or do you like Dungeons and Dragons? And that means whatever's up now, you play in it and you love it, right? Well, first of all, let's talk about types of participants, right? So one, if you like the thing and not an instant of the thing, you are infinitely better, right? And if you like an instance of the thing, but you don't like the thing, you suck. That's it. That like, And that's the same. Like, And so honestly, it, if people are saying, hey, should we even have a monarchy? but they just dislike King Charles III, they're causing a lot of problems for a lot of people, right? Like 15 nations, are 14 nations now, are under the subjugation of England, right? And that's worked out for some of them, and it's been terrible for others, right? Like, But the reality is the point of this, right? Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy that likes an instance of the thing, but not the thing. It just sucks. It sucks for the monarchy. It sucks for D&D. Uh, here's another one, right? Like uh, Ghostbusters, great movie everybody loved it right there was a uh there was a follow-up show called the extreme ghostbusters and it had egon as a professor and it had four new young ghostbusters so if you liked ghostbusters you liked extreme you liked extreme ghostbusters because you liked ghostbusters right and that meant you liked the movie and you loved the show extreme ghostbusters which was a legit sequel right but if you liked, um, but if you, but if you just liked, uh, you're, if you're like, like you know, you're that suck participant who's like, I just like the movies. I don't like extreme Ghostbusters because I don't really like Ghostbusters. I just like this one instance. So the point is, don't be that guy. Like the thing or don't like the thing. Don't like an instance of the thing. It's just shallow thought and it's a suck way to be, Right? Like the thing or don't like the thing. Don't like an instance of the thing. It makes you lesser and it makes us more, the people who actually like the thing. Oh, that's my humble opinion. I'd love to hear yours. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.